Okay, in this lesson, we want to find the, the uh, limit of 1 over divide 1 over natural x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 from the right. Okay, so this is another example uh, where we need to apply L'Hopital's theorem twice. Okay, so let's do a direct substitution first. Okay, we get 1 over, so as x is approaching 1 from the right, uh, this is going to give us 1 over something approaching 0, okay, minus 1 over, uh, this is approaching 0, as x approaches 1 from the right. So therefore, uh, this is going to give us uh, infinity minus infinity. So therefore, this is an indeterminate result. And we can go ahead and proceed by using um, or by applying L'Hopital's theorem. Okay, so uh, let's write this. Uh, we need to write this in a, we need to simplify this, okay? Um, so I need to write this over a common denominator. So this is going to be the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. Uh, here the, the least common denominator is natural x times x minus 1. So simplifying inside, you're going to get x minus 1 minus natural log x. Okay. Okay. Divided by natural log x times x minus 1. Okay. All right. So now uh, we can apply. Let's go and apply L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to take the derivative of the top and bottom. So the derivative of the top, you have x, which is 1. So the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1 minus 1 over x. 1 over x is coming from the derivative of natural log x divided by uh, here we need to use the product rule. So we take the derivative of natural log x, which is 1 over x times x minus 1, plus the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1 times natural log x. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and simplify this. Um, so what we can do here is multiply. Uh, we can clear out these fractions by multiplying the by multiplying the numerator and denominator by x. Okay. Okay. So we can do this. Um, so we're going to get x minus one on top divided by okay this x times 1 over x it just gives us 1 so it leaves us with x minus 1 plus x times natural log x Oops, sorry all right um, let's plug in one let's do it right let's do a direct substitution So plugging in 1, we get 0 here. Uh, we get 0 here. Natural log 1 is 0. So we get an uh, indeterminate result here. So we need to apply L'Hopital's theorem again. Okay. Okay, we have the limit. Taking the derivative of the top, that's just going to give us 1. Um, taking the derivative of the bottom, so derivative of x minus 1 is just 1, and then apply the product rule here. So we're going to get 1 plus the derivative of x is just 1. So you get natural log x. The derivative of natural log x is 1 over x times x. Okay.
All right, so then taking the limit, so you're going to get 1 over natural log 1 is 0. Uh, here, these cancel out. So that's going to give us, actually we can, let's simplify this a little bit more, just, just to be sure. You get 1 plus natural log x plus x over x is just 1. So this is going to give us 1 over 2 plus natural log x. So now, uh, doing a direct substitution, we get 1 over 2 plus natural log 1 is 0. Okay, so we actually get the value of 1 half. Therefore, the limit of this, as x approaches 1 from the right, is one half. Okay, very nice.